Hey guys, Kids Dancer here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I was asked by a couple of you to make hospital outfits. Before we get into today's video, I would like to give a sincere thank you to all of my viewers, subscribed or just passing through. Over this past year, I've been giving nothing but love by all of you. All of your kind comments, likes, and subs inspire me to make more videos. Thank you for over 19,000 views on the last part of this. It's something I've never seen happen on my channel, and you're making my childhood dream come true. If you haven't checked out that video, it would mean a lot to me if you did. But don't click off of this one. This one is pretty cool too. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, here we have Mayday Parker, and we'll be making a classic hospital gown. First, you put on a basic shirt, take off any OC jackets or accessories that would typically be taken off during a hospital visit, then change their sleeves to sleeve number 60 on page three. Take off more belt stuffs and select this skirt. Now go into lower and change the pants to short shorts. You don't have to change the color of the shorts. I just did because I wanted to be extra. Remove the character's shoes if they have any on at the moment and go back to the upper clothes. Now it's time to pick a color. Usually we see light blue gowns in hospitals, but it really depends on your preferences. I've actually worn a brown one when I got an MRI to see how many brain cells I lost. I was born with half a brain cell. <laughs> Just joking, I, I, had, I had to figure out other health things. Match the shade of whatever color you chose and add a lighter shade for the trim of the skirt slash bottom of the gown. Now click extra and left wrist. You wanna have a hospital wristband tag? This is how they know who needs to be slapped across the head. Go into right wrist and remove it. Change the color to white and make the outline a slightly darker shade, in this case, gray. And that's a typical hospital gown slash patient outfit. Doctor outfit number one. Here we have Manila, and I'm gonna give her a job to pay for some talkies. Now this isn't the shirt I'm gonna use, but I wanted to poke it. Starting with the sleeves, pick number 67, or just any long sleeve shirt that doesn't cover their hands. Change the shirt to one that overlaps the waist outline. Again, remove any accessories that you don't want to be a part of the outfit. Go into lower and select these pants. You could use any sneakers or shoes you want. Now for scrubs, the clothes that nurses, doctors, and dentists wear. They could be any color, but the most common one is turquoise or light blue. Make the bottom of the shirt a lighter turquoise and make the outline a tad darker than the rest of the shirt. Make the sleeves white with a gray outline. Go to jacket and pick one that looks like a lab coat. Match the color with the sleeves, or as much as you can with this jacket. <laughs> Go to lower and match the colors with the shirt. Light bit included. Moving on to accessories. If you've seen my previous hack, you'd know that it's supposed to be a stethoscope. It's made out of these headphones and a microphone that I'll show you in a second. Change the colors and add a surgical mask. They've got to stay safe from the Karen's germs. Surgical masks in a hospital are usually light blue as well, but now they could be whatever color. Make the outlines gray. Adding the mic slash main piece of the stethoscope. Make sure the colors are the same as the headphones and adjust it. If you want to see exact adjustments, you could see me go into more detail in a previous video. Give them another layer of protection for the biscuits of this world and change the colors to a turquoise, light blue, or creamy white tan. You can't see it in the lab coat, but add a name tag on the shirt designs and put it in 11th position. Also change the color to black or white. See? It's a cool little detail. And there they are. Bandage chest. Yes, this is Barry Allen, AKA The Flash. I'm a freaking simp, okay? Anyway, go into jacket and pick this one. Same one from before. Change the colors to light blue. These are the colors I ended up using for most of the patients. Pick the outline color so it looks cool. Pick the same sleeves that I did on Mayday and change the color to match the gown. Okay, this is the fun part. Click on shirts and select the bandage shirt on page six. It's on the bottom row. Make the colors an off-white and a gray or a similar color outline. You could keep your OC's pants for this part. You could also change them to shorts. Go into extras and add the BOP tag. Remove the other one, unless I need more bracelets. Pregnant women often have multiple. White again. I added a little jeans detail to his pants just to make it more interesting. And you're done. Nurse outfit number one. Make this shirt the same as before, the longer one with a V-neck. Take the cool short sleeves and make the color a reddish pink, again with a lighter hem and a shade or two darker outline. Match the sleeves, or be cool and change things up. Add the chat bubble for the name tag. Change it to pose 11 and make it black or white. 
Do some long pants that aren't too baggy or too tight. Match the colors because it's cool. Zoom out because you need to see how epic they are so far. This is totally for aesthetics. Go to hats and select one of the nurse hats. Make the cross look classic red. Make the outline gray so it adds to the white. And I'm just gonna adjust it so it looks better with her head shape. She was probably dropped on her head as a baby and that's why she needs the hat to cover it, you know? <laughs> Go to other and give her some latex gloves and make them gray and boring. And that's it. Mouth and nose oxygen mask. Getting right into it. In hats, the middle accessory, select the letter receipt or whatever it is. Change the color to a light gray and make the outline lighter. This makes it look like see-through plastic. Switch to face accessories. Use this band-aid on the top. Face accessories number two, select the party horn. Uh, face accessory three, go to page six and use this mask. Okay, this is the most important part. If you want the mask to be see-through, like oxygen masks are, change the band-aid color to light gray with a slightly darker gray outline. Make the party horn thing light gray. Make the sub-color of blue or green with a lighter gray slash white outline and make the mask tinted gray. To do this, use your OC skin tone and move the color to a grayish version of their skin tone or a more saturated color. Change the mask outline to gray and go to adjust. Move this piece to X positive 32, Y negative 30. Keep the X and Y scale at one and rotate the piece to 87 degrees. On accessory middle, the paper thing, and connect it to the bottom of the party horn thing. I don't know what the heck it is. Move it to X positive 8 and Y positive 80. The X scale is at 12 and Y stays normal. Rotate it one back or take the long way and go to 357 and you don't have to move the band-aid. Here you have it. I also put one on Barry because he needed oxygen when he was in my coma. I have X positive 10, Y positive 84, X scale 12, Y scale 1, and rotation at 357. It's about the same, but they both work. Nurse outfit number two. So here's this unnamed attractive man. Make his shirt a medium gray with a darker outline. Remove the shirt design, then go to upper and sleeves. See what looks cool and pick a short sleeved sleeve. Make the color a gray blue. Go to jackets and pick this as an over shirt slash the actual scrubs. Match the scrubs with the sleeves. Go to belt slash skirt too and select the cool belt thing. Have it match the rest of the scrub colors. Now go to lower and select some scrub like pants. Same colors. Use shoe number 8 and change the colors. I did the main white in the subcolor gray. The outline is a darker gray than the subcolor. And there you have it. Pressure cuff. This is more of an equipment hack, but whatever. I wanted to put it in here. An extra go into shoulder and use this arm cuff thing. Make it black or a navy blue. Get rid of the other one. I forgot to like an idiot. Go to accessories and accessory one. This is going to be the overlapping part of the cuff. You could use whatever band-aid thing, but I chose the one with an X on it. Choose the lighter color for the X. Adjust it to fit around their arm. X negative 40, Y positive 64, X and Y scale at normal slash 1. And rotation at 321 degrees. Now, this part depends on if you have a nurse or not. Go to props, left, and pick a few things because you're getting off track. <laughs> Pick the yo-yo with more string and match the colors with the rest of the blood pressure cuff. Adjust it to 52 degrees, rotation X negative 52 and Y 16 and that's it. Nurse outfit number three. This chick is about to get all the sims. Make her shirt, shirt number 69. For now, I chose number 88 later. Tell the design to be gone and add the cool name tag. Move to pose 11, just like before and make it black. Go back to the shirt and change the main color to the third blue up. Make the sub color a lighter blue and change the outline to the second darkest blue in the other row. Go to page three on sleeves and select the scrunch slash rolled up sleeves. Make the sleeves the same color as the undershirt with a slightly darker outline. Go to extra and shoulder and pick the huge short sleeves. Make the colors match the main shirt. And lower, change the pants to number two. Change it to the darker blue. Socks don't really matter, she could just have stinky feet. Make their shoes black and a dark gray. Black slash darkish gray for the main and slightly lighter gray for the subcolor. Pick the cute little cross shoes, shoes 10. She needs short socks at least, I guess. 
I'm actually changing the shirt now. Add a mask and gloves if you want, and there, you're done. Sarah slash patient outfit number three. Okay, sad story. I actually had to go to the ER back in March. I learned a lot about hospital equipment through my severe twitching. I'm gonna make the outfit that I was wearing the night when I had to go. Make the sleeve short. Pick the basic shirt for now, or you could go right to the one I used at the end, which is number 91. Change the color to this blue, and do the same for the sleeves. Go to lower and pants and change them to a dark gray slash black and change them to pants one. Make the shoes black and white and pick number 66. Go to upper and get confused. Go to extra and pick the cool baggy sleeves. Make them the same color as the shirt and other sleeves. You won't be able to see these sleeves under the baggy one, so it doesn't really matter. Go back to upper because you're not confused anywhere. Gosh, Sarah. Really make your brain hurt and select every shirt but the one you want. <laughs> Go to page 5 and pick this shirt. Go to belt skirt 2 and pick the same skirt as before. Match the colors and don't make the hem lighter. This time it's just one solid color. In face accessories, select either one of these circles. Gotta change the colors so I can see first. Now pick one of these. One is on page 3 and the other is on page 6 slash accessory 110. Make it white with a gray outline and go to adjust. Move the circle to X negative 10, Y positive 30, X scale 14, Y scale 12, and rotation 0 degrees. Go to face accessory middle and use this mask, or any mask you don't want, and make it black. Add the hospital bracelet and make it white with a gray outline. Get rid of the second one and there! The circle is supposed to be a vital sticker thing they put on you to connect it to the heart blast oxygen monitor. Doctor outfit number 2. Hey, we've seen this hippie before. All right, girl, you think you could be the next Dr. Phil? We'll see. Make a shirt dark gray. Go into jackets and give her a lab coat. Make a coat white with a light gray outline. Pick a cool skirt and belt slash skirts too. I chose number 42. I also added this belt, but I took it off later. Give her a V-neck shirt and fix the colors of it. Go to pants and change them to short shorts so they could be hidden by the skirt. No one socks, select the fishnet to page four. Make the color a slightly darker shade of their skin color or a dark brownish. Give her strap heels and make them dark gray. Go to upper and pick long sleeves. Make them white and with a gray outline and remove any shoulder things. Now we're going to do something new. Go to accessories and scarf bottom. On page 6, pick this necklace. and the color palette, make it a dark red and white. This is her name tag. On scarf 1 slash top, go to page 3 and pick this collar. Make it white with the same gray outline as the rest of the coat. You could add more, but this is the basic outfit. Nurse holding a blood pressure cuff. All right, go to props and select a grenade. Um, make it black or navy, depending on the color you picked for the cuff. Make it size 15, X negative six, Y four, and rotation 354 degrees. Then you have the squishy part, which they could check your blood pressure with. We can up the big brain and add the yo-yo to it. The yo-yo is on page 11, by the way. Adjust the yo-yo to connect to the grenade. Make the right prop yo-yo at X2, Y negative 38, and rotation 148. Put the patient on a table slash bed and make the nurse do their freaking job. Nurse outfit number four. Uh, this is a spaz, then it dies. I probably butchered that so bad. Go to page three on sleeves and tap sleeve number 56. Make the color this dark orange with a darker orange outline. Choose this shirt, not this one. <laughs> make it the same orange and make the main color of the sleeves white. And lower, make pants 7 the same burnt orange. Pick this belt and also make it orange. You can obviously switch things up, but I don't want to be creative right now. Add a dark blue stethoscope because orange and blue are complementary colors. Grays are two. Select this and make it the same, blah blah blah, and you're done! Toe slash foot bandage. Here we have Mayday again. Go to socks and lower and pick this striped short sock, sock 20. Make the sub color the color of your OC skin and the outline is the same as your OC skin outline. The main color can be whatever you want it to be. I usually get purple bandages when I have surgery. Go to extra and knee and use this wrap looking accessory. Remove the other one, unless they have two toes that had surgery, which, you know, they would usually match. Make this color the same as the main color of the sock, and make the outline a darker shade of the bandage. Sit, Biscuit! <clears throat> Mayday done goofed her foot or stubbed her toe really freaking bad. Look at that! Big brain! 
here's outfit number five. On page six, there's a half-colored shirt, shirt 110. And jacket uses top and change the colors to turquoise and dark gray slash black. Their shirt has to be half turquoise mane and half gray bl slash black, so pick sleeve 31 and use the same colors as the rest. And lower, pants 31, make the main color turquoise and the subcolor black slash dark gray. A dark turquoise for the outline and shoe number 68. Sorry, I'm going a bit fast with this one. The shoes should be white with a dark gray outline. And other, gave them gloves and make them this light blue. Use the dark blue next to the black for the outline. Go to face accessories and give your character some earrings. I picked this one on page 5. I made it silver and kept the same name tag as the doctor's. Brunette nurse! Surgical scrubs. Rose is one of my sister's OCs. Okay, so use a longer circle neck shirt. These sleeves and these pants. On to the color. For this outfit, I'm making them dark blue. A slightly lighter blue for the hem of the shirt once more. Go to lower. I accidentally used a different shade of blue on the outline on her pants, but oh well. Give her the same gloves as the, as the others and make them turquoise. She has a necklace that I'm keeping there for character purposes. Her face accessory one, give her a surgical mask. Make it light blue with a gray outline. Okay, go to hat and accessories and get on page four. Then select this little McMuffin looking hat. Poof, there goes her hair while I'm switching the colors. Make the bow match their scrubs, mask, or gloves. Adjust it if you want. And lower, give them slippers and make them turquoise with a slightly lighter turquoise for the subcolor. Then Rose is done. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload. Also, follow me on Instagram at cutesair underscore Sarah official or look up cute Sarah Sarah to get notified of future projects, uploads, and things going on in my life. Comment what you think and let me know what you want to see me do next. Like the video so I know that this was helpful. Likes and shares are highly appreciated. I hope you all have an amazing day and thanks again for all the love and support. Until the next one, bye cuties! <laughs>